What I'd like to do is uh, talk a little bit about Go Coins on this video. I've had some questions pertaining to uh, Go Coins, and uh, I want to explain some things. And a lot of people at times think because you have a coin that's 24 karat gold and you have a coin that's 22 karat gold and a coin that's uh, 21.6 karat gold that the better coin is the 0.9999 pure gold coin. That's not true, okay? For instance, you have the 24 karat gold and that that gold coin is 0.9999 fine gold. 24 karat. You can get no more pure than that, 24 karat. And these coins that contain your 24 karat gold are such coins as an example, your African Cougarans, your Canadian Maple Leafs, and your Austrian Philharmonics. These are normally in, well they are, they're government issued coins from a certain government's own mint. So it's, it's if, if we're looking at, for instance, the Canadian Maple Leaf, which is a 24 karat gold, this coin is solid gold. Now the thing about the solid gold coin is because it's pure, it is very susceptible to scratches and dings. Be careful. And if you ever drop the coin, it's very possible that you could get damage to the coin. And secondly, we have the 22 karat gold coin. And, and the coin that would fall into this category would be the American Gold Eagle. Now, people think that the American Gold Eagle is not as good as gold as your 24 karat gold. Well, let me say that that is not so. It is not so. What your American Gold Eagle has done, the USS, uh, well, the US Mint has done, is that it has added two other alloys to the 24 karat gold itself to make the coin harder and more scratch resistant. For an example, the American Gold Eagle has one ounce of pure gold. One ounce of pure gold. What has happened is that they have added two other metals, which is silver and copper. They've done this to make the corn harder and more resistant to scratches and digs. If I was to, let me explain this a little easier. If I was to take and brew me a cup of coffee, the coffee is black, no cream, no sugar. And we can look at this cup of coffee as 100% pure. If I added milk and sugar to the coffee, then it is no longer pure coffee. It has been changed. The, the makeup of the corn has changed. So whenever you do the same with your coffee with milk and sugar, it has changed. 
you have actually added two other contents, the sugar and the milk, which actually has made your volume of your coffee more, more in volume now. Well, actually, your cup of coffee in a very minute way is heavier and bigger just simply because of those two additives. This is what has been done to the American Gold Eagle. And once it is, has been diluted, it now becomes 22 karat gold, which is 0.9167. So, if people think that the American Gold Eagle is a, a corn that is not as valuable as the African Krugerrand or the Austin Philharmonic or the Canadian Maple Leaf is wrong. If you was to take an American Gold Eagle, an ounce, and a one ounce Canadian Maple Leaf and put them on digital scales, you would see that the American Gold Eagle weighs more than the Canadian Maple Leaf, simply because of the alloys of silver and copper being added to the corn. Now, last but not least, you have your 90% fine corns which are like your pre-1933 gold corns and your foreign gold corns such as your Mexican pesos, your French francs, like your Napoleons, your Swiss Albicias, and then your Swiss francs. Now each one of these 20 franc coins that I just mentioned, the Helvetia, the Napoleon, and the uh, French Rooster, I don't know if I mentioned that, French Rooster, they have 0.1867 of an ounce of pure gold. It does, it has 0.1867 of an ounce of pure gold, but because this corn is 10% copper, it now becomes point, excuse me, it now becomes 21.6 carats of gold. 90% fine. So if you notice with a 21.6 in the uh, currency gold coins and your American Gold Eagle which is struck for investors it'd be in 22 carat in your 24 carat in your government round issues for investment you'll now see that 21.6 carat is just a sprinkle away from your 22 carat American Gold Eagle. Just a sprinkle. 24, excuse me, 21.6 in your currency coins that were struck for circulation. They had 90% gold with 10% copper simply caused coins were in circulation and by adding the additional copper this made the coins harder which kept the coins in circulation longer. So if they did, uh, in fact if they had struck the, uh, the currency coins, gold coins in 24 karat gold they would eventually in a short period of time uh, in a short period of time receive a lot of wear and in the, sh in the short run not in the long run, but in the short run, they would actually have to 
refine more gold to replace the pure gold coins that has been in circulation. So that's the difference in between your 24 karat, 22 karat, and your 21.6 karat. I hope I've explained it well enough where you can take this information and use it.